Ishiro san, you are five. What? Am I five? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Can I see you? Have you ever been told that you are fired from the company? Maybe not. I hope not. But I am. It was May 13th of 1998. Do you know how would you feel if you were told this? I felt devastated, as if my existence itself were denied. Even worse, at a time, my wife just quit her job and had a baby. I thought, how can I make a living? I was totally desperate. But just after that, I begged the manager, my boss, a lot. Please, please, let me stay, stay in this company, please. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Finally, he compromised with a certain condition. Only if I could sell 10 million yen for the next two months as a sales rep, I could stay. Otherwise, I had to go. But to be honest, 10 million now was too high, almost impossible. Because if I could sell that much, I would be the top salesperson in the firm. <laughs> Do you think it's possible for this underdog? Of course not. But I had any other choice at the time. I just said, yes sir. Now I want to tell about my business a little at a time. I was selling corporate training programs with a trainer, like leadership seminar. And our company's products were junk. <laughs> <laughs> Too expensive, outdated concept, bad facilitation skills, all bad. Well, that's why my, my sales performance was bad and got the business notice. But after the meeting of that business notice, I got out of the, the office because I couldn't stand being exposed with my colleagues pitiful eyes. Outside, it was a really beautiful spring day. It was May. Sunshine, warm, green leaves. People in the street were so cheerful. That beauty, that cheerfulness, all the more hurt me. And I wandered around all day long asking myself, why do I have to go through this hardship? Why only me? But I couldn't get any answer. In the evening, I came back to the office and only that manager stayed there. I thought, oh, I didn't see that disgusting face. He was really disgusting, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't resist asking this question to him. What's wrong with me? Nishino-san, I know you were the best salesperson, top salesperson in your previous firm. But our company situations are very different. So you should put aside your past achievement. And I realized, yes, he was right. I just compared with my past, my previous company, 
my glory days. So it means I was junk, not my products, not our company's products. I was junk. So I decided, okay, I will reset and start from scratch now. So from the next day, I did everything I could for that impossible goal. A lot of cold callings, knock on sales, walk in sales, and even I developed new products, even though I was not in charge of that. I did everything to sell. And in the process, one interesting thing happened. Seeing my attitude changes, my co-workers started to help me. Even that disgusting manager. Do you know what happened in two months? I made it! I achieved the impossible goal! Ladies and gentlemen, why? Was I able to do this? Before the dismissal notice, I was clinging, clinging to my pride. I was proud of what I have done before. And pride itself is good, right? But in my case, it was just a very thing. Cheap, even fake pride. And that kind of pride sometimes turns into arrogance. That arrogance prevented me from moving forward. But after that, after the notice, I was able to throw away my pride, my cheap pride, and reset for the future. So, I learned that from my disgusting manager, my family. So everybody, if you become stuck with something, why don't you throw away your pride? Come on, here.